Hi guys, welcome to Sailing Semantis. This week, we tackle the decks on the port side. Hi, I'm Chad. In the fall of 2020, I bought this boat, a Columbia 107 called Semantis, for $750. We motored her south to her new home at Chipman Point Marina on Lake Champlain. She is now undergoing a complete refit in preparation to begin sailing the world. I don't know what it is, but I get over here and it's just like a huge weight taken off my shoulders. I just completely relax. All the other stuff in my life that I'm dealing with just kind of all goes away and I just settle in and work on my boat. I just, I just love it, I don't know why. December 22nd, 2021. Piles of snow on top of the boat. But the birds are chirping, the lake out there in the background. Just lightly frozen on top. Just super peaceful here. So my first order of business today, as you can see, most of these boats are covered. Mine is not because I'm doing a lot of work on the top, even in the winter. First thing I got to do is get all the snow off. Over here on the port side of the boat, this is where I'm working today. As you can see, that whole bit is done. It's all torn out. And this is the exposed deck core. It's pretty soggy. So just like on the starboard side, we're going to get right into cutting all the way around with a multi-tool. And then i got to pull those chain plates down. This is the jib traveler on the port side of the boat. i got to remove all of these bolts so that I can lift that traveler off the deck. So those are the things that need to be done. I think I'm going to tear the hardware out first. The traveler and chain plates because once I cut through the glass on the bottom side here it's gonna be much softer probably really shouldn't be walking up there because I'll only have the very thin top glass left in place and just like I did on the starboard side I'm gonna break these on bulkheads into like five pieces to get all these pieces of deck core out and we'll take them back to the shop rebuild them, bring them back and install them once it's warm enough. So I've already partially removed the snow on the deck. I've got the salamander running inside, so that's going to uh, help to soften it up and melt things loose so that I can get the traveler and the chain plates out of the deck. And then all my work is from underneath.
little bit of a struggle to get that jib sheet traveler removed. A couple of the bolts for the deck gave me some trouble. I was able to remove the base for the chain plates above the deck, the bottom of the turnbuckle, and a plate that gets sealed to the deck to try to prevent water from getting in around the chain plate. So the last thing to do is to pull these chain plates. remove on the deck the filler tube and the pump out I already removed the hardware on top but those have to come out the next step is to start cutting around this whole thing making some progress here on the port side now good morning guys this is day two of the port side deck demo so here's what we get done you can see I've already started cutting these out all along the back edge around those stanchion plates and uh, these separations where these break into sections it's going to fall along with the with the bulkhead joints I got this one cut already right here and I started going this way last night toward the bow and I stopped right here. I did separate these bulkheads. You can see that separation and the tabbing between the bulkheads and the deck has been cut both here and also the only other one in the way is this one toward the bow in the galley and those are cut. So I'm gonna finish cutting over the galley back into that corner removing that and I'm also going to come up into the v-berth here and finish this so here we go I'm going to get the camera set up on the tripod and finish cutting the rest of this out with the multi-tool
many people go after this with some sort of vacuum tie back suit, maybe even negative air pressure. There's a lot of ways to do it. But I've really had very good luck with this combination right here. Multi tool followed very closely by the extractor. Mine happens to be Festool, but anything that sucks really well, lots of pressure. Works pretty good. There's virtually no dust in here. This combination here and a mask, I've had very good luck with it. So I thought I'd point that out. see just how rotten the score is. Start ripping it apart. Okay. Uh, the top strand matting coming apart here. When you get into the moisture, the CSM comes off with the glass uh, when the core is wet. As soon as the core dries out, this happens. So technically, this is all probably perfectly good core. I probably could have stopped this way back in here somewhere. But uh, it's all coming out, it's all getting replaced.
down out of the way. The other side we did in five pieces. This one's looking like we're going to do it in four.
probably continue this next week. But you don't want to watch me knock all these out in the dark, I'm sure. You get the gist anyway. All these plywood squares. the other side. Just like that. All these plywood squares and they're just soaked. So so I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing here um, off camera and get this all stripped and ready to go and then I'm going to load all these fiberglass cores from the underside of the deck into the car and bring them back with me. That'll be it for this video. I want to thank those that have subscribed to my channel or like, share, and comment on my videos. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps me to gain traction here on YouTube.